Hello gamers, I am Tigwick, and uh, we are playing Elite Dangerous here today. Uh, this game is, is a modern remake of the Elite game from uh, oh, 20 years ago. Oh god, more than that now, probably. Uh, and it was a very open-ended sort of simulation game where you're, you're flying around in space, and you, um, you're, you're basically trying to make money, or kill pirates, or be a pirate, or all those things. And you can go trading, and there's bazillion solar systems, and they're all generated to be, you know, um, you can visit them and everything else. And uh, this, this modern remake, Elite Dangerous, allows for the same thing. It's, um, it's basically a, a, a trade uh, space life simulation game. Uh, it's like EVE Online without the persistent universe that everybody else exists in. It has multiplayer and you can exist in other people's universes, but um, not everything pertains. Like their, I believe their instance versions of planets will be um, only persistent for them and yours will be persistent for you. But if you pass through similar planets, you know, they'll show you your stats and... Um, you can exist with other people in, in various stations, you can attack them, you can dogfight, all that stuff, but it's not the same sort of persistent cohesion that, uh, that EVE has, but it's still pretty damn good, and it's a lot of fun. I'm here in station right now, I'm uh, about to take a, a mission to deliver food cartridges to Apayota uh, in the Han Relay Outpost in Apayota system, and so I figure I'd just hit accept and we just go do that and you can see a good chunk of, the, uh, of what the game does. So we'll uh, we'll take this. I'm playing with a gamepad, by the way. Uh, it just makes things easier. Ooh, there's also couriers for Iravet. Oh, I like this mission, but I don't want to have to go backwards. Hmm. I guess it depends on where Ariat is in relation to where I'm going. Okay. So if we look at the um, the galaxy map here, uh, we go to galaxy. So here is where I'm supposed to be going, Apiota. Uh, let's see if it will pull it up for me. Nope. Where is the point for it? Come on, let me choose Aviota. It's a little finicky. Uh, there we go. Because it's a 3D thing. Uh, so if we choose to plot a route to Aviota, Aviota, it will tell us to go via... Where are we going? And that is not... Oh, but that might be the way back. No, no, it won't be. Okay, so we'll just, uh, we'll skip the other mission then. And we'll go exit. There's a lot of that whole trying to figure out everything. We'll launch. This hangar's pretty cool. I came in one way to launch me. It, it basically pops down, spins around, pops me back up, and points me in the other direction. And, uh, I'm off I go there. So if I fly off the side... There we go. I'm flying in space. And now I can actually, uh, you know, figure out where I want to be pointing, where I want to be going. So I'll look over at my uh, navigation here, and I will lock this as a... Oh, it's already my, gar my target. But I can engage hyperdrive. Can I? Am I close enough? Nope, I can't. Okay, I'm too, cl too close to the, um, the station I just ejected from here. As you can see, I'm mass-locked. The uh, bottom corner down here, if you can look at that, there it says I am mass-locked. So I can't actually engage my uh, frame shift drive yet. Also, my landing gear is still down, so that's going to prevent me from uh, from going very quickly. Okay, so pointing away, just waiting for the mass locked light to go out there. Oh, I probably should have refueled there. Mm, this may cost me. Um, we will align to where we're supposed to be going, which is right over there. And I've got yaw enabled on here, so I'll simply yaw over because it's just easier than having to align on the other uh, axes there. Mass locked is still taking its sweet time. Oh, there we go. And if I power up the drive and max out our thrusters, we will fire off into the sunset on our way to the Alray sector. As you can see, we're charging, charging, charging the drive, charging the drive. And three, two, one. Warp drive. So as you can see, the warp tunnel, you don't really do anything. You can't, you know, it's a loading screen, a beautified loading screen. But it's still cool. You know, you're warping from planet to planet. And uh, the effect is fun. And, you know, you come out of space pointing pretty much directly at the star. So you really want to pull away. And, uh, you know, you've got a heat meter down in the middle here. You can see little uh, heat waves rising up off my radar over there. That shows 
just how much you can take. That goes above 100, you start uh, getting some heat damage that uh, can do very bad things. So, uh, where are we headed next? I'll look over at my uh, navigation here. It says Apiota, there we go. So we will engage the hyperdrive. That means we have to like point at it. So where is it on my radar? It is down here. There it is, Apiota. Throttle up all the way and fire off again, this time to Apiota. And soon we'll arrive there and figure out the station we have to deliver stuff to. Wah! Point to the star, away from the star. Okay. This station is. Uh, where is it? Han Relay. We'll lock that as our destination, hunt it down on the, uh, the radar here. There it is. And just basically point at it. Um, if you look down where I'm kind of centering on that, uh, that gauge that shows 7 point something C or 9 point something C or 10, anyway, that gauge is my speed. Um, I am currently going 13 point something times the speed of light there. And the uh, you know the little the little needle on the gauge there is me playing with my throttle. If I keep it in the low mid blue zone there, then the game will actually, or at least my ship will actually um, do the work for me of slowing down once we get close to the Han relay here. Uh, so basically, once you're pointing at your destination, if you're as long as you have it in the blue, the middle of the blue there, it will slow down for you, and uh, it just makes it easier because you, know, you don't want to have to do that every time. Uh, I mean, you can. You can control it yourself, and you can, you know, if you want to speed all the way there and then slow down at your own rate, you can do that, but this, uh, I feel this is just a bit more effective. And uh, eventually, once we get under a light second to uh, a few million meters, do, 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 there's about, you can see it tells us about, there's about like 10 seconds left until I get within range. Once I'm within range, and you can actually feel the slowing down now as the ship compensates, and soon enough we will have the light show up that tells us that we can drop out of, uh, out of this hyperdrive, out of cruise, and into the, uh, the local gravitational pull of the Han relay station. And... waiting, waiting, come on, pretty close now. There it is, safe disengage ready. Disengage, and in we go. So we'll pop out right next to the relay here. Uh, at about seven and a half clicks out, we will ask for permission to dock. It is the polite thing to do. If you attempt to dock without that, you may encounter them not wanting you to dock. And by that, I mean they will shoot you out of the sky. Um, it's a permission thing. Nope, I don't want that. I want that. Okay, we've asked, they say yes, so we'll move our way in and make it to landing pad 1, as you can see in the middle there it says landing pad 1, we have about 10 minutes worth of permission to do that. I'm not sure where landing pad 1 is, if it's the highlighted one up there, uh, sometimes it's on a, you know, a different part of the station entirely, but we'll see if it's the highlighted one over there. Uh, you can watch my terrible, terrible landing job as I'm not the smoothest at these things. Um, the mail slots like terrify me when you have the station where you have to go through the little tiny slot. Um, it just feels so small compared to the ship, even though this ship is actually pretty tiny. Uh, is that one over there? I think that is one. Okay, so we will really slow down heavily. We'll pop out the landing gear to also increase drag. And then if I'm smart about this, I can yaw my way over and we'll see if I'm pointing in the right direction um, sometimes it wants you to be pointing a certain well it always wants to be pointing a certain way and uh, <laughs> I'm not always the best at gauging which direction it wants me to be, pa to be facing but I think this time we got it so we'll slowly maneuver our way in here so you can see it turns into this, the, the landing radar um, helps you navigate 
where you need to be, what access you need to be on. And we'll just, oh, we almost, almost aligned that perfectly there. We'll move forward just a smidgen. Let's say yaw around a bit. And then I've got side-to-side uh, -side thrusters bound to the uh, Q and E keys here. So I will simply thrust to the left and I will thrust down and bam, there, we landed. Not so bad. I'm better at these than I am at the mail slot. I, so we'll go into the starport services here, hand in our uh, our mission, and you've seen me play Elite Dangerous for uh, about, I don't know, how long is this? Five, ten minutes, you know? Let's see if we can deliver these. Give cargo. Ta-da. We are done. Uh, so now what I would do probably next is I, was pi I would pick up another one of these courier missions going from somewhere to somewhere else, and I would head out there and, and do that. And... Uh, make some more money and eventually you build up your ship a bit, you buy some more parts and um, you can, you know, do better warfare and other, uh, or you can, you know, fit better uh, engines and go faster and get to your point A to point B or, uh, you know, increase your inventory, carry more stuff and get it from point A to point B. There's so much you can do and uh, I'm, I'm hoping to show you some more videos very soon. If you like this, please do hit the like button below. It's that big thumbs up or uh, feel free to subscribe, you know, then you'll get notifications of my content coming out when it comes out. And um, leave a comment. I like talking with whoever wants to talk with me about the games that I play. Uh, it's just a lot of fun to interact with somebody else on the other end. Um, yeah, so I will see you in the next video.